welcome to DISH. I'm Ashley. I'm Ellen. And we are going over to Williamsburg, Brooklyn to Natalie's house. Okay. Us getting into the cab. <laughs> Patrick, where are you? I'm Come with us, Patrick. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ellen Gaffney. And I'm Ashley Wood. Welcome, welcome to, to DISH. Dish. Dish is a reality cooking show where you email us your best recipe. And if we choose your recipes, we'll come to your home and you can show us how to make your signature dish. This show is exciting, spontaneous, it's not scripted, it's funny, it's totally different than what else is out there. You never know what's going to happen with the dish or the chef. Dish. Reality TV never tasted so good. Hi, welcome to Dish. Here we are <laughs> in the cab and our cab driver is Sabi. Sabi. So we are here on the Williamsburg Bridge, stuck in traffic. Have you ever driven anyone with a camera in your car before? Oh, I have. Really? Let me tell you some interesting things about Natalie. She had a piece of pre-Columbian art before she had a Barbie doll. A family game, I find this fascinating, that she used to play with her siblings was, guess which part of the pre-Columbian art is not original. Natalie actually was referred to us by somebody that loves her cooking in clay pots, and we thought that was definitely a really interesting story. And once you put the food in the clay pot, you put it into an oven, or sometimes you can keep it on top of a flame, but when you put it in the oven over time, the steam releases and that's what cooks the food. So there's no possible way that you can burn your food, and that's why clay pot cooking is really popular. Okay, I think today we should find out, we should try to burn Natalie's food. We're going in, going into Natalie. All right, Woo. that only took an hour to get up four <laughs> flights of stairs. Four flights of stairs. Hey, Hi, Natalie. Natalie. How are you? Doing it's well. so Thank nice you. to meet you. Oh, I feel like I you. know you already. Look at your kitchen. Wow. Wow. So these are the clay pots we've been hearing so much about. How long have you been collecting? All my life, I would have to say. Well, you're going to see pots from all over the world. Here we've got a lot of vintage Mexican pots, we've got Colombian pots, we've got Chilean pots. Anywhere that cooks in clay, like the Moroccan tagines yeah. and the Spanish tagines. If you had to pick one out of this whole thing and someone said, there's a fire, you have to leave your house and you can never come back, <laughs> which, which one are you picking? Come on. What the do you one I can't with? get anymore right now is my Mexican bean pot. Uh, Jay, that's our sound guy. Andrew, Patrick, nobody goes near. The Mexican bean pot, <laughs> yeah. please. Okay. So, okay, what are we making today? Yeah, let's okay. get to the okay. food. We are going to make a, um, a spicy Hungarian paprika chicken, which is probably not that traditional because I make them very spicy. And we're going to make a goat cheese tart with leeks and herbs. Well, we're also going to make the carrot soup. So, you tell us what to do. Yeah, we're here's some carrot soup. I'll right just kind of stand to the corner. Okay. We're going to the carrots. We're going to take this uh, about a cup and a half of shallots. Doing a metal pot, you feel that actual grit of the pot, and this is like a really smooth. Yeah. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, so you have the sliced, chopped uh, whole Here. carrots with the peel on. Peels off. Okay. Peels off. off. I usually keep mine on. Is that bad? And sometimes it makes it a little bitter. bitter this yeah. kind of a soup. Oh, it's just a little really? gentle little soup. Okay. What kind of herbs are we going to be using? We're going to do two bay leaves. Okay. Turkish or California. Two tablespoons of curry. We're going to put in the fresh Yum. mixture. We're adding some vegetable broth here. Okay, vegetable okay. stock. So it's okay. vegetarian ve and vegan friendly. Jay. Vegan. Jay, are you a vegan? No, I'm not sure to be vegetarian. So when you go to people's dinner parties, you say things like, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you I'm a vegan. <laughs> My mother, being very French, would get so Wait. mad. Don't bring any of your vegetarian friends. No, uh, no, no, no. no. So we are adding peeled fingerling potatoes. Uh, all you have to do is really add one. It's kind of more of a thickener and it gives a nice little texture okay. in the cooking, but I I like these. And I love fingerling potatoes because they are a lot creamier than just a regular baker recipe potato. Right. Ellen and I love salt. We come from a salt family. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it almost takes about 25% longer to cook in a clay pot. So here we're going to make this cook. This is going to do its thing. While that's cooking, we're going to make a goat cheese tart with leeks and herbs. What I did is just took a sheet of pastry. This is a goat cheese herb. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> but this is what my culinary degree is for. Put okay. the leeks on top of that. And these are just sauteed. Saute. Uh, again, with a half a cup of butter. I like butter. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually saute dog do with a half a cup of butter. <laughs> it tastes good. Here we have some Parmesan cheese. 
And what herbs are you okay. putting in there? Uh, basil, okay. some oregano, some parsley. Time? Is there any time in there? I try 20, 25 minutes, but we'll keep checking it. Do you have your dinner parties here at this table? Yes, everybody eats in the kitchen. Everybody cooks in the kitchen, works in the kitchen. It's New York, you know? This is kind of like sexy cooking, you know? Everything's kind of slow. Yeah, you can't just like cook something really fast. And yeah. How about the paprika chicken? Let's chop up these peppers a little bit more. Okay. Because okay, we're going to saute, again, uh, a good little balance of vegetables. Gotcha. Okay. And then we're going to make a little roux with it. And we'll put some chicken and our spicy paprika. And okay. a roux to everybody at home is usually clarified butter or regular butter combined with some flour. Roux are helpful okay. for starting any kind of soup or <laughs> stew. They're also a thickening agent. Um, and different color roux depend on the different color stew that you're gonna have. I think we'll go ahead and also cook up our chicken. Now is this just boneless, skinless? I have a mixture there of breast and thigh meat because mm -hmm. I think it gives a really nice mix of flavors. And that's gonna take a while. It's gonna probably take a good 10 minutes to break down and start getting ready to add our spices. This is essential. And you want to get the you hot the door? if yep. you want it to be hot. I like it hot. But this one is one of my favorites because it really does have a nice little burn. That's a oh, lot of paprika. That's a lot of paprika. I probably use three tablespoons there, maybe four. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm going to let it kind of heat up a little. <laughs> oh, what do we have there? This is a uh, oh, cayenne pepper. Woo! <laughs> what I'm trying to do here that now more is for I'm roast that, um, the spices a little bit. I have this roasted garlic here that I roasted in a clay pot. In a clay here. pot. So you're putting yummy roasted garlic in. Okay, you're adding the chicken to the vegetables. What we're doing is just adding adding a little bit of flour to work as a thickener when we add our liquid to it. Uh, let's put about two cups of that in here. Just regular chicken stock. I think what's interesting about this dish also, there's no herbs really in it. Right. Other than yeah. what might be right. in the stock where we, we oh, minding me, our goat cheese yeah. tart. Ready to come out of the oven. Do you have a clay blender? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, woo! Do that. So, so should we set the table? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take some pie. That's passing. Yeah. Well, and your so. Okay. So here we are. One of the fun this parts. This is the really, this is my favorite part. Yeah. And Cheers. Natalie, thank you for having us. Natalie. Can we so, do the uh, unveiling of the soup? Oh, <laughs> wow. my goodness. <laughs> Smash those grapes, man. Mm -hmm. And a big clay mm -hmm. that. Oh, this is delicious. Wow. The this carrot. Is really, really. And the ginger. Amazing. Two, two mm -hmm. of our favorite. And then, and then here's our little mm. yummy goat cheese tart. Goat cheese tart. Oh my god, that is so delicious. Creamy. Mm hmm. Light, crunchy, buttery, flaky. Mm -hmm. herbs. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we are finishing up our soup, and we're finishing up with this delicious herbed goat cheese bread, mm -hmm. and we're coming back with Natalie's finale, which is paprika chicken, which is going to be, I think, hot, hot, spicy. hot, hot and spicy. spicy. Yes. The power went out, seriously. The power went <laughs> there's out. No, there's life. There's so, life. I paid the bill. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Chicken paprika. It's so spicy, it turned the electricity off. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Dig in. It's not too spicy at all. A um, little lingering bird. A little, but I love good heat. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, Natalie, thank you again. Natalie, this has been such time. a wonderful day. Love you guys. Natalie, thank you for opening up not only your home, but your heart. Mm -hmm. Please join us again for our next dish. Uh, we don't actually know where we're going next time. Nope. But if you want to um, cook any of the dishes that we've actually helped Natalie cook today, Thank you. Uh, then go on to our website. And our website is Ellen and, and Ashley, Ashley TV. TV. Com. So there. <laughs>